So this is the second video with regards to synthetic division, and this specifically is covering the remainder theorem. So the remainder theorem says if the polynomial function p of x is divided by um, x minus a, then the remainder r is, is p of a, or is equal to p of a. So what this means is two different things. One, this, uh, for our example here, where it says p of x is equal to x cubed minus 4x squared plus 3x minus 5, um, if you're going to use the remainder theorem to evaluate this for x is equal to a, in the remainder theorem, that is telling you that a is equal to 4. Therefore, we can actually start by putting the 4 without any changes to it into the half box. From there, the second step again is to take all of our coefficients and to put them in order, one after the other, without any of the variables. Again, if anything was missing between the x cubed and the constant, we would need to include them with a zero. So for instance, if this didn't have an x squared, instead of negative four, I would have a zero here. Leave a gap, put zero into the first one and add. Zero plus one is one. Four times one is four. Add again, negative four plus four is zero. Four times zero is zero. Add again, three plus zero is three. 4 times 3 is uh, 12, add again, 12 minus 5 is 7. Therefore, 7 is what we're looking for, 7 is the answer to this question. Uh, another way of checking this is to actually do P of 4, which is what the remainder, remainder theorem states. If R is what we're looking for, then P of A will give us that R. So if we do this correctly, when I'm done, 7 should be our answer. We have 4 cubed minus 4 times 4 squared plus 3 times 4 minus 5. 4 cubed is 64 minus another 4 cubed, which is 64, because 4 times 4 squared is four, four, or 3 fours, plus 12 minus 5. You'll notice the 64s cancel out, and you'll get 12 minus 5, which is 7. So P of 4 is equal to 7, and that is the answer that we are looking for. You do need to make sure that you calculate both using synthetic as well as the P of A. Okay? So you're going to do two different things. You're going to use synthetic to verify first, and then you're going to plug in your A and see if um, what you get matches. So again, this number here and that number should match. If they do not match, then you went wrong or something happened throughout that process. So here's the you try for this one. So you have p of x is equal to x cubed plus 3x squared plus 4. And then you're going to um, use the remainder theorem to evaluate this for x is equal to a negative 3. Just a small hint, you are actually missing a term in this um, example.